Good afternoon. How are we doing today? Welcome back to the homestead. So today, I think that uh, there's a few things I want to get done today. I want to see how much time we got. Today's the first day ever. There's actually a pretty decent chance of rain this afternoon. And I don't know if you can see behind me. It does look like possibly a storm could be moving in. But, I mean, I'm not going to get excited just yet and hold my breath because I know how many times in the past I've gotten burned on this where they called for rain and it never happened. So the first thing I want to do we need to check on all the animals here real quick. With as hot as it's been the animals need watered a couple times to a day. It looks like the pigs here. All their water troughs are empty, so let's go get them some water. We gotta check the goats here. The cows, usually they have enough for a day that their tub's big enough there. I don't usually have to fill it once a day, but we'll still check on it. Looks like, let me see here. Goats. They could definitely use some water too. So, let's get some water carried up here first. And then, uh, I think today, I just don't feel like working on the garden today again. Uh, feel still a good bit more things I need to get planted out. But uh, I think today I want to go out and work on the. Uh, um, on that orchard area, the new area. Haven't worked on it in a while, but I think that that's a kind of important, especially, you know, to get um, a food forest growing on your property. You know, I wanna get a bunch of perennials out there for stuff that you can eat, stuff that, uh, you know, you plant once and that's it. You know, everybody thinks of the annual gardens and thinking about tomatoes and stuff like that, but I think it's more important that you get a food forest going, something that you can, you put the expense of planting once and then you harvest for years. So. I want to go out there and I want to try something a little bit different this time. Instead of just going out there and uh, let's uh, get the goats some water here. The one thing you got to think about, especially whenever you got extreme heat like this and it's in the 90s all the time, that your animals are going to be drinking a little bit more. So to make sure you you check on them more often and uh, keep filling up their waters more often. You don't want animals running out of water and end up with... Uh, dehydrated animals or worse yet you could end up losing one so let's take this bucket up to the pigs just as important as it is to have water from the drink you make sure you want to have that your pigs have some place to wallow in some place that they can lay down and get in some cold mud there to cool off. 
I got these guys over here. Um, the grocery store that we get waste from gave me a spoiled jug of uh, chocolate milk there, if you saw there. So I gave them that chocolate milk that was spoiled. And, uh, it stunk, but they loved it. So I guess that's what the important thing is. Doesn't matter what you think, it's what they think. If they love it, then it must be good for them. All right, let's grab some tools and then we'll get on the tractor and we'll head on out to the food forest area. Okay, so we're out here where we start clearing the land. I think what I want to do is, instead of just running everything through a chipper, I want to try to start uh, creating rows of brush. Uh, and then I'll cover it up with dirt, kind of like a hoogla culture where I bury it bigger. Um, just sitting here expending all this energy in uh, chipping is just taking a lot of time and a lot of effort that I just don't have towards this project But I mean this project is very important to me, you know, I want to get this whole area all cleared out here. So you know the The one plum tree we planted here. He's doing okay. I think he could use some rain there. I guess I should water him So I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys down and I'm gonna start chipping um, Not chipping but cutting up Cut up some of the bigger stuff here for firewood. Start hauling that out. And I want to start making a windrow out across here of just uh, organic matter that can start rotting down. So.
So that's what I want to do is just continue on this and just kind of build it straight out across there. I want to build several of these so that way I have different rows here. But to kind of about right where I'm going to put my swales, I want to build it up with organic material first to try to keep and maintain the water coming down this mountain here. So then the idea is to cover that up with either wood chips or dirt or a mixture of both there. And let it decay down for maybe a year and then plant the heck out of it. So, I mean, I'm going to plant it here and there and slowly get this thing going. Uh, a lot of it I want to propagate, a lot of the trees and stuff that I already have here. I don't want to spend a whole lot of money buying into this thing. But eventually, like I said, I want this covered up with, you know, I want all kind of fruit trees in here. I want some nut trees in here. I want some berries and berry bushes and just a little bit of everything. I want a, a true food forest down to strawberries and everything is a ground cover. All right, so we're gonna keep moving on this thing. today got a lot in here cleared out but with this heat that's about all I can do for today it's time to go in and sit down and take a break so um, I'm just gonna keep working on this like I said this is a long-term project I'm not expecting to finish this in this year or maybe even next year but I'm just gonna keep working away on it and I'll bring you along I want to get this food force going here so all right well like I said, I'm heading into the house to take a break. So thanks for stopping by the homestead, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.